Hello and good morning. Welcome. You're listening to the new and improved Montalvo in the morning. It is January 2021. That's right. It's it's, uh, a new and improved Montalvo in the morning show, January 11th. 2021. I'm pretty much going to be giving a rundown of the latest news. And this is what's happening in America is that in 2021, we're waking up to communism completely taking over our country. And uh, it is uh, as a result of their blaming you now here's the news uh the red hatters record show fever trump fans fueled u.s capital takeover you see the whole capitol hill thing is being used as a psyop to go after the patriot community libertarians uh conspiracy theorists free thinkers and anybody and everybody in between they're calling that homegrown fascism but but they didn't say anything when you had all these wild Karl Marx advocate crazy just whack jobs on the left killing people and burning cities and looting and stealing Gucci I mean the whole thing was a psyop at Capitol Hill because that that's where they uh, crucified Jesus Remember on Capitol Hill, on the hill. So it's the same thing. They needed a sacrifice, a mock sacrifice. Did they really crucify Jesus? That's the thing. Did they really do this Capitol Hill thing? The the whole thing was, uh, looks like it was a big phony baloney fat hoax sandwich. And uh, they're using it to now call for more impeachment of Trump. You see, it's just, ever since Trump got in, all they want to do is get rid of Trump. And it never ends. Now, it's not the the red coats. It's the red hatters. The red hatters. Oh, yes, yes. All of of you are red hatters now. If you're listening to me, you're a red hatter. I'm a red hatter. Hell, these people are so just frothing out the mouth like they got rabies with their hatred of Trump, they're so brainwashed. I mean, at the end of the day, they're like, oh, are you are you a pro-Trump guy? I'm like, uh, you know, I like him as a businessman. And then they go, oh, you, he's a motherfucker. He's a motherfucker. Really? Really? They get so fucking frothing out the mouth with rabies anytime you say anything positive about Trump. It's like, uh, you could say, oh, you know, Trump was a pretty good Sports promoter, you know, he promoted a lot of good fights. Those fights were rigged. They probably were because he was working with Don King. But the the fact of the matter is what I'm trying to say is that you can't say anything positive about Donald Trump because people go stark raving mad, frothing out the mouth. And then they make you out to be like a zombie supporter. I've never really been a zombie supporter of Trump. And now you could see that More than likely, he's in league with the reptilians, okay? It's said that he has a time machine, and they got the Tesla papers, and they based Back to the Future off of him and all these books where he's the last president. And that's what you have. You see, the office of the president-elect is pretty much the office of China. China's got their their boot up, up your ass. That's the office of China has their boot up your ass, and fuck you, America, China is taking over. You see, because they censored Donald Trump, right? They censored him on, on all these platforms where you already agree to give your rights away to, like, Google and stuff. So it's like, you know, people just say, oh, my God, Google is, that's the Internet. Twitter's the Internet. No, the Internet is the Internet. They can't censor the Internet. That's just what they want you to think. And... I'm telling you, look, left, right, it's all one big bipartisan government establishment and they're in on it together, okay? So if you're in the back of the class and you're still thinking, oh my God, Republicans and Democrats, they're fighting each other, uh, you're an idiot and uh, Trump is controlled by the Freemasons. 
That's right, the Freemasons. This whole thing is one big, fat Freemasonic psyop because they control everything, right? They control it all, right? They have the the time machine, right? And um, on certain shows, they predicted already Biden being president. And I saw this and I was like, oh my God, could this really be? And here we are like at a, a crossroads where it's like, nine or ten days left in Trump's presidency and they want to remove him because he's going to do what? What's he going to do? I'm already hearing that the Marines have swore an oath of allegiance to Trump and they're not going to let him step down. There's like big, just uh, big hubbubble within the military because they're like fractioned off between the patriots and the communists and I guess the Patriots are on Trump's side. But, I mean, Trump pretty much led them to their slaughter, just like every other radio shill talk show host I hear. You know, whether it's Alex Jones and his FBI informant buddies literally leading you to get data mined and possibly slaughtered at the Capitol. Now, I'm not some pussy. Look, I'll fight, but... I'm going to fight for what's mine. I'm telling you, you know, just put out a lawn chair and protect your own damn house and don't go out into some fucking psychological operation war zone where if you're not part of the freaking platoon, they're probably going to have you step on a landmine. Okay, you the the civilian. Because what they got going on is major psychological wars. And let me tell you, I've been through it all. I've literally, from since 2011 to 2017, I was fighting what's known as the Shill Wars. That's right, the Shill Wars. So many of your favorite radio talk show hosts are part of them. And me, I'm like the Roddy Roddy Piper from They Live of radio. I got the glasses, and uh, I can see all the shills and talk radio that are Leading people to get data mined, like uh, Fox News, right? Fox News is owned by by Disney. Disney also owns ABC News. And all these supposed uh, right-wing conspiracy theorists, uh, oh my God, the most polarizing conspiracy right-wing people, uh, they're all bought and paid for by Disney also, right? Disney... Well, they're putting out all these shells, all this controlled opposition out there. So I see it. I see, oh, yeah, that Trump, uh, all the whole operation is filled with controlled opposition and data miners. And you got Fox News telling people, oh, go on parlor. Go on parlor so you could parlay on parlor. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be parlaying with FBI informants. They're going to be data mining you and, and, and freaking knowing what you do and everything you do, what you say. I mean, it's just. It's just crazy, and people fall for their for their traps. It's like a rat, you know, biting on a piece of cheese, and then boom, you know, the freaking trap just hits them right over the head and chops their little rat head off. And, you know, in, in this case, they think you're the lab rat, but really it's a whole bunch of just rats. It's a dirty rat-filled game, the talk radio game. People try to defame you and go after you. And these people are working with the freaking feds and the CIA. And and you're not. You're just your average Joe, you know, living your average life. You know, the mailman's watching you. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the gas company's watching you. They know your name because it's on the bill. You know what I'm saying? They're controlling you with electromagnetic frequency, freaking weapons. They got microwave weapons that can dustify buildings. They don't need to have a satellite in space because there's no such thing. They're all land-based satellites. Land-based satellites that are on a geocentric plane, land-based satellites that will literally fry your ass. Right? They use the sun and the freaking dome and the whole spiel to freaking fry you like they uh, would do in, in RoboCop. Where they're looking for the criminal and psst, they, they just fry his ass. And that's where you're, where you're waking up to. You're waking up to uh, an America where communism has been installed. An America where 
masks are all the range and getting your communist paycheck from the government is what you're entitled to and then your stupid ass goes and spend it, spends it on some fucking Nikes like an idiot. Okay? I'm saying, Trump has 216 hours left. I mean, what are they going to try to do? Kill him? I mean, this is just ridiculous. They, you know, if you believe all this media hype against Trump, I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm not saying he doesn't have enemies, but maybe those enemies would try to kill him in the last 216 hours. But, but, I mean, do we, do we really believe now that, that Trump's not in on it? Right? He's totally in on it. He, he is leading all these supporters of his straight to the FEMA camps. Actually, stadiums have now become COVID-19 FEMA camps. And, you know, you literally, it's like he thinks his supporters are a bunch of redneck cousin fuckers. They're just, like, idiots, like out of Mr. Deeds. You know, what is it, that, that character, uh, Steve Buscemi's character with the cockeyes? The cockeyed, you know, that's that's what he thinks his supporters are, right? Because hey, come on, go to the Capitol. Meanwhile, they're staging all sorts of psyops, and if you're not part of the psyop, you know they'll they'll shoot you for real, right in your freaking dome with a freaking government sponsored bullet. You you just had to leave your house and leave your job or your your work, your business. I mean, don't all these Trump supporters have businesses, right? We have businesses. I mean, all these, all these other people that stormed the Capitol. I mean, they just left their businesses. You know, it's been reported that there are Antifa's and uh, Black Lives Matter communist Marxists, which are mainly comprised of like dorky ass white people, commie white white people using the black name Black Lives Matter. And, you know, there's some thugs in there, hooligans, but mainly it's just a bunch of snotty-ass white kids, like the kids of, like, Chuck Schumer and his tranny wife. And this is the America you're waking up to, where it's like revenge of the nerds. You're listening to Montalvo in the morning. If you ever want to call in, chime in, leave a message on live talk radio that I'll answer. Number is 480-382-8451. The Red Hatters, you know, what are they going to do? You know, is is Trump in danger? Is Trump's life in danger? Do you believe that that he's really got the media in his pocket? Do you think the media, even the left-wing media is in his pocket? Because have you ever heard of, you know, no press, all press is good press? No press is bad press. If you keep getting press, even if it's bad, you know, it's good, right? They're calling it an insurrection. Why? Because you don't want to obey they live zombie brain dead Biden. I mean, this is literally like uh, revenge of the nerds with zombies in it. And uh, Bill Gates, who's like pinky in the brain, he's like brain or whatever. And all these governors are like... the pinky like his dumb ass like subordinates and they just got to vaccinate you and kill you right like vaccines are all the rage oh did you get the vaccine yet did you get your dose of reptilian alien dna that's gonna make one of your foots bigger than the other you gotta get that vaccine and if you don't get it we'll put you in a fucking sports stadium aka fema camp while uh all hell is breaking loose i still think that all hell hasn't truly broken loose, even though it broke loose the other day. I think that possibly the Civil War gets kicked off if Trump uh, Trump decides to stay and he's got military backing. That's just what, they're, what they want. And they're in on it. They're going to have their fake little Civil War and who knows what Trump's exit's going to be. He, he might even fake his death like uh, freaking... Uh, Dino Spumoni, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what, what he's going to do. But uh, all hell is just going to keep breaking loose and breaking loose. You thought that 2021 was going to be your year? No, it's just a dumpster fire. It's a, it's a dumpster fire. And uh, 
And they're saying, oh, pre-Nazi Germany tells us the fight to save America is just beginning. Yeah, the fight to save America from from communism and fascism. And you got Nazis to the left of you and communists to the right. And you're just the clown that's in the middle that they're like punching out. Meanwhile, China is like completely taking over, going to eat us with their chopsticks. But, uh, yeah, look, when Joe Biden gets in, you're going to have a major stock market crash. And maybe that's why Trump is like, man, I'm tired of this shit. The stock market is going to crash. I already get blamed for enough already. I just want to go play golf and have sex with my wife. All right, you're listening to Montalvo in the morning, 11 a.m. every day on the Montalvo Broadcasting Network. We'll see you next time. That's today's rundown. Hasta luego.